Hi, I'm Leslie Hildula with the Small Business Development Center, and I run the Restaurant Business Builders Program. And we're visiting today with Daisy and Ivan Cuervas because they have a new business up and running. And I wanted to start at the very beginning, Daisy. What inspired you to become an entrepreneur and to have your own food operation? Honestly, what really inspired us was really having the drive to do something for our own selves and our family. Um, I previously, years back, I managed a cafe and I really enjoyed getting up in the morning and baking. I absolutely love it and making coffee was really fun and it was just a really good environment to be back in. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. And Ivan, you two are in this together, right? So yes. how are you, how do you find inspiration in this? For me, it was, it was more about seeing the face on people once they've had what I can make for them and knowing that they're enjoying what it is that I have to provide for them. It's like creative and an act of love, isn't it? When you feed people food that they enjoy. It was, it was, I think it was a little more than that for me. I was going through some health issues at the time too, so alternative food, eating better, being more healthy, being more active was something that I had to become a part of. So figuring out a way we could run a coffee house and do like juices, smoothies, and incorporate that good sense of eating was, was important for me at the time as well. That reminds me, the name of your company, the name of your business is? Good Karma Rose. Yeah, it's a lovely name. Where does that come from? Um, so we kind of, really took a long time to put our menu in a way together how we wanted it because we really took the time to do find good coffee, good teas, um, and then incorporate the juicings along with the wellness shot. We were just trying to bring out like good stuff, good karma, and rose for Portland because we are here, you know, so bringing good things into Portland what we thought would be a good idea to nice. our foundation. Yep. So tell us where you are right now and, and about the neighborhood. Um, we're in Kenton neighborhood. Um, we're off Lombard and Peninsula, and it's been great. Everybody here has been super supportive, has been really helpful, and is really encouraging to support a small business. And what has it been like for these first two months? I mean, it's in a new location, a new neighborhood. Um, it's been tough, but it's been good just because, you know, we're new, we're a new business, and there's quite a few food carts, you know, already in Portland, so just trying to get the word out and letting people know who we are, what we're trying to do. You know, it, it takes time, so lots of advertising and <laughs> signs and, you know, talking to people and which it's been great so far, but slowly we're getting there. Every month it seems like it's been getting a bit better and better, so that's, that makes us feel good. Right, which is what you expected, yes. right? It takes a while for people to find you and then yes. they come back. <laughs> yes, so that's great. Course. So sort of lessons learned then for the, after the first two months, what advice would you give to somebody thinking of doing something similar? Patience, absolutely big time, because it takes a while for you to actually start to see them returns from people, mm -hmm. definitely. And I mean, do whatever you can, it is for your, do whatever you can do for yourself, because there's not a lot of places that would help. The program was absolutely a great help. I wish we would have started there before we actually considered the idea of opening our own business, because we were kind of out on our own, and there was not too much help at the time for food carts or anything like that. You mean in Hood River? Yeah, in Hood River. And even here, it was difficult to find, like, an actual spot, and then we came across you guys, mm -hmm. and that definitely helped. It opened up our. It was all the tools. Oh, good. Yes. It gave us all the information we needed to start out with how to money, how to manage your money. Not just that, just how to run your business from the top to the bottom, and that's kind of something we we weren't familiar with. So definitely do a little bit of homework before you actually consider doing any of this. What do you think you're going to be doing, say, five or ten years from now, do you think? Maybe be inside a brick and mortar mm -hmm. and kind of keep this one here for the community itself, for the people around here, because they seem to need it here. And possibly even within the same community, open up our whole little cafe, mm -hmm. walk-in. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing Good Karma Rose Cafe, brick and mortar style in the future. But it's great to have you here in, in the Kent neighborhood. I'm here in Kent a lot, so it's nice to have a good source of coffee and, and treats as well. Yes. So congratulations on your start. Thank you. Oh, you're very Appreciate welcome. It.
This is Leslie Hildula with the Small Business Development Center at Portland Community College talking about the restaurant business program with Daisy and Ivan Cuervas.